Good morning, children. Hello, everyone. All of you take out your geography book, page number ninety-four, chapter five. Today we learn about major domains of the earth. In this chapter, we shall deal with the four major domains of the earth: lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. The land mass or the solid crust of the rock is called lithosphere. The waste part of the mass, which includes oceans or seas, is called the hydrosphere. The demons of air that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere. The narrow zone where air, water, and land interact and support life is known as biosphere. <coughs> Lithosphere. The term lithosphere comes from the Greek word lithos, which means rock. The lithosphere refers to the surface of the earth made up of rocks, minerals, and soils. It includes all the landmass as well as the bits of the oceans. The greater part of the land lies in the northern hemisphere. Therefore, the Northern hemisphere is called the land hemisphere. The land masses are broadly divided into seven continents: Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, Australia, and Antarctica. Continents. Asia is the largest of the seven continent of the earth, both area-wise and population-wise. The continent is bounded by the Arctic Ocean in the north. the indian ocean in the south and the pacific ocean in the east asia has the highest mountain ranges of the world the himalayas with the highest peak 8858 meters lying along the nepal tibet border the plateau of the tibet is the largest and the highest in the world and is known as the roof of the world it also has the lowest part of the earth the dead sea 418 meters uh, to 392 meters below sea level lying between jordan and the israel asia is the birthplace of the major religions of the world christianity islam hinduism and zoroastrianism asia is also home of some wonderful animals like the bengal tiger bacterian camel Angora goat and the red panda. Africa, it is the second largest continent of the world. It is bounded by by the Mediterranean Sea in northwest, a Red Sea in the north, Indian Ocean in the south, and Arabian Sea in the east, and Atlantic Ocean in the west. Important deserts are the Sahara. the kalahari and the namib desert sahara is the largest desert of the world north america it is the third largest continent of the world it is bounded by the pacific ocean on the west atlantic ocean on the east and arctic ocean on the north and caribbean Sea and the Panama Canal in the south. It is connected to South America by the Isthmus of Panama. It is spreaded by Asia by the Bering Strait. Diverse climatic types of the fauna in Northern America. Important languages are English, Spanish, and French. South America. It is the fourth largest continent of the Earth. It is the situated west of atlantic ocean east of the pacific ocean south of the north america and north of antarctica the longest mountain range in the world and these are the located on the western coast of the south america the largest river of the world amazon flow through south america australia it is smallest continent of world it lies entirely in the southern hemisphere the tropic of the capricorn runs almost through the middle of this continent it is 
a country as well as the continent so it is called as a continent country antarctica it is fifth largest continent and lies completely in southern hemisphere as the continent is located in the polar region it is covered by ice throughout the year so it is also called the white continent as it is freezing cold here so there are no permanent human settlements here hydrosphere hydrosphere refers to water found on the earth in all the form, its forms ocean sea river and lakes the earth is called a blue planet because 71% of its surface is covered with water the distribution of the water on earth is highly uneven some parts of the earth have more water while other area have acute shortage oceans oceans are large water bodies they form a major part of the hydrosphere there are five oceans the arctic ocean the atlantic ocean the indian ocean the pacific ocean and the antarctic ocean the pacific ocean it is largest and deepest ocean in the world it is almost circular in shape it is surrounded by four continents asia australia north america and south america the most active volcanoes in the world the ring of the fire and found in the pacific ocean and its coastal landmass the atlantic ocean the s shapes atlantic ocean lies between africa europe north america and south of america it is the busiest ocean in the world as all important seas cruise pass through the atlantic ocean there are many important harbors on the coastal lines the indian ocean it is the only ocean named after a country it lies to the southern of india west of the indonesia and australia and east of africa the pacific gulf red sea and the bay of bengal are connected to this ocean it is almost triangular in shape the arctic ocean it surrounds the north pole and lies within the arctic circle a narrow stretch of water called bering strait connected it with the pacific ocean it is bounded by the russia greenland canada and alaska the antarctica antarctic ocean the large mass of the water formed by the meeting of the indian ocean the atlantic ocean and the pacific ocean and is referred to is as the southern and the antarctic ocean a large part of the ocean remains frozen due to low temperature in the region movements of the ocean water waves it is the continuous and the alternate rise and fall of ocean water waves are formed by winds which blow over the ocean surface tides it is the rhythmic rhythmic movement of the water towards the towards and the away from the shore they are formed due to the gravitational pull extracted by the sun and the moon on the earth surface currents currents are streams of hot or cold water which flows on the ocean surface in particular direction they are caused due to unequal heating of ocean water by the sun okay this much rest i will explain you tomorrow